Hey, how you doing? It's Joe Stump. Welcome back to the Shred Academy. It's a little bonus DVD action for uh, Neo Classic Blue Guitar 3. You know, can't just leave you guys hanging with just one DVD. Yes, it's a two DVD package. Insane, huh? But, you know, you guys are busting good money for this nonsense, so, you know, we got to give you more. But anyway, I'm going to, you know, this is just like some, me playing a bunch of tracks from Speed Metal Messiah, which is my last full-on studio record. came out, I think, 2004, 2000, yeah, a little over a year or so ago, and, um, like fall of 2004, so closer to two years. I'm actually in the midst of working on a new instrumental record right now. Um, not sure the title, but I got all the tunes tracked, and I'm going to be recording that in the next few months, so, you know. And of course, tons of stuff on it. But anyway, so I'm going to play this tune, Eastern Beast, which is um, off uh, Speed Metal Messiah. A little intro to this tune, and, you know, a little instructional vibe, too. Very very little, but this is a cool bit. Um, it's got one of my favorite scales, based out of, um, which is the fifth mode of Hungarian minor. Those of you guys that don't know, I mean, really easy. Think of it like this. you got harmonic minor, which most players are familiar with, which is the natural minor scale with the raised seventh tone, with a leading tone, which is... harmonic minor scale with a sharp four or like you think of the flat five because everybody knows the flat five from the blues scale right so just add that but get rid of four so the scale is Hero. Can't get much cooler than Mr. Richie Blackmore. And you know, when I got that from from um, from Richie. And you know, one thing like a lot of younger players don't know about Blackmore, and you know, uh, um, him and you know, I uh, uh, of course, Ingvar Malmsteen upped the ante when it comes to this very classically influenced European style of play. But Willie John Roth and Blackmore, and um, were the first guys, you know, in the '70s to bring, you know, classical motivic stuff arpeggio play, use of exotic scales and modes, use of diminished seventh arpeggios, you know, all that stuff to, um, you know, to rock music. And then Ingve took it to a much even more extreme, you know, extreme level, both technically and, you know, it, and intensified the classical content, you know, and of course, you know, he took it the next step. So I, I'd like to think I'm, you know, carrying on, you know, trying to carry on the tradition. You know, of course, not the category with those guys, they're all legendary. But anyway, but a cool scale, but the same thing like the fifth mode of harmonic minor, which is Phrygian major or Phrygian dominant, which, you know, just thinking of the scale from, from here, from E. And the fifth mode of Hungarian minor, which is, you know, known as double harmonic minor, or I've also heard it called super Turkish, which sounds quite fancy, you know what I mean? You're playing in super Turkish, you gotta know what you do. <laughs> but anyway, look, it sounds like this. Double harmonic minor, because of the two half steps and two leading tones.
whenever I'm playing in <laughs> dominant Phrygian a lot, I'll use the mixture of the Phrygian major, the first one, and that one. And I tend to use that double harmonic minor or super tur Turkish for more expressive kinds of, kinds of things because with the chromaticism, it can sound a little out sounding with it. So I'm going to do a little Blackmore-esque um, intro to Eastern Beast now, and then I'm going to rock the Eastern Beast thing. All right, so here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 